Hey, what's up guys? It's uh, Matt Modai with Dotsham. Got a pretty awesome tennis bet for you guys in this video, but before I get started, one thing that I do want to talk about is the uh, Ajdam Discord. Uh, this is something that has been launched recently, uh, maybe two weeks old at this point. Um, and in, at this point, we uh, we got a pretty good thing going here. We, it's a, I mean, for those of you who know what Discord is, you know exactly what this is. It's a sports betting community for people to talk to other sports bettors, get our best picks with some free offerings, some paid offerings as well. Um, in terms of the free stuff, free picks. So anything that you see here on YouTube, anything that you see if you follow me on Twitter or on any other form of social media, it's going to be a free pick. Uh, we have trophies where we post just our biggest hits that were posted somewhere in the Discord pr prior. Um, that's the only rule with the trophy. It would be kind of unfair if we posted like a big hit of a play that wasn't even posted somewhere in the Discord for people to tail. Um, and then everything is being tracked in this Google spreadsheet here. So um, if you want to see how we're doing, how many units are up or down, depending on how well we're doing, uh, you can. It's it's public. Every single pick goes into this profit sheet. Um, and this is in this profit sheet is where we track all of our paid picks. So what you see up here in the paid picks section, these are our premium package offerings. Um, basically, the logic behind this is we understand not everybody has the time to go in and line shop and find sharp tennis bets that I'm gonna put a hundred bucks on this one. Um, sharp tennis bets, they can find line shopping and looking at all the markets and stuff. So we figured why not come up with a way for people to just tail our favorite bets, our best bets, and they don't even have to think about it. So that is what exactly uh, the Discord is. We're actually running a promo, 66% uh, off up until football season. So generating as much excitement while we're in the doldrums of baseball season and uh, some other sports. Um, and everything is tracked here, so you will know exactly what, what's going on in terms of how well we're doing. Uh, prize picks is exactly what it sounds like. It's all different prize pick entries. Odds Jam expert picks is literally everything else under the sun. So the tennis bet I just put in would be an expert pick for all the um, not ones that are posted here on YouTube. Um, I mean, WNBA, obviously MLB, UFC, MMA, stuff like that. You know, I don't, um, I, not a lot of people I understand have, like I said, my job is to sit at my desk all day and line shop and hunt for the best values. So I understand people have life stuff going on. Not everybody is lucky as me to work for a company like Ajam to have this be their job. So uh, follow us in the expert picks for our best bets. Unfortunately, I don't have time to put all my best bets on YouTube. So follow them here on Discord. And that's gonna be it. So in terms of the tennis bet, what we're looking at here, I don't wanna butcher this guy's name, but Alex Molkan versus uh, Duhay a, a Djokovic, something like that, similar to Djokovic. Um, the plays on the total games over 20 and a half. So this is a two unit play. As you can see, I locked this in for hundred bucks. I have $50 a unit, which I recently upped. So if you're confused, if you haven't watched in a couple days, I recently upped my unit size from 25 to 50 bucks. Um, and the odds jam line prices this play at minus 128. With the VIG removed, it's priced at about minus 113 if you want to round up. Uh, so the gap between what we bet it at on uh, Caesars at minus 105 and the odds jam line at minus 113 that is what has positive expected value associated with it, which equates to a profit margin here of 3.48%. I'll talk about that percent in a little bit, but what you can, what all you need, really need to know is that this is the percent edge you hold over the sports book is this 3.48%. So in this case, again, Caesars. The Ajdam line, everybody knows, is pulled from the most accurate bookmaker in the world. Even for lower level tennis plays such as this, having a, uh, a tool like Ajdam that accept, or the Ajdam Sportsbook where we pull these lines from, I should say, that accepts sharp action, that doesn't have limits, that wants sharp sports bettors to use their platform, is where you can gain an advantage, where you can get plays like this, where it has the true market of what the sharps think it should be priced at. Other sports books, in this case like Caesars, don't necessarily have that same sharp action, so their odds are a little bit mispriced. And the VIG, I'm assuming everybody knows what the VIG is, but it's just the juice that sportsbooks price up odds. Basically, the logic behind that is like a standard minus 110 play that it's like for standard spread or total. Um, if I bet 100 bucks on a minus 110 play, if my bet wins, I profit $90. If my bet loses, I lose all 100. That $10 right there, that gap, that's the VIG that sportsbooks charge. So multiply that $10 by hundreds of thousands of bettors and even more money, and you start to see how sportsbooks make their money. So removing the VIG is important in terms of getting an accurate representation of what the Ajdam line thinks truly of a line. And then this last column here on the right, market width, this just measures confidence in what the Ajdam line is being priced at. Um, basically, this 22 literally just measures the difference between these two numbers, 25 minus 3 equals 22. Um, 
the logic here being the, the more confident that the IHDM line is and what they're pricing their odds at, the closer this these two numbers are gonna be together. And anything that is 25 and below is a pretty tight market of something that you should definitely consider betting. This one being at 22, perfect. The next thing is this percent that I promised I would get back to. Uh, this 3.48%, like I mentioned, it's your edge that you hold over the sports book can also be viewed as your mathematical profit margin. So I bet hundred bucks on this one on Caesars with a mathematical profit margin of 3.48%. So I could figure to make $3.48 on this bet. I'm not breaking the bank or anything by any means, but uh, what I am doing is placing a positive expected value bet that's mathematically profitable. And over time, if I continually place these bets, I'll be profitable, which is exactly what's happened, how I've made money betting on sports, why I work at Ajim in the first place. So I know that $3.48 doesn't exactly sound like a lot, that maybe will get you a cup of coffee if you get if you don't get one of the cold brews. Um, but you need to keep in mind, number one, that this bet, that this match will be played tomorrow. So I'll basically know by tomorrow when I'm eating lunch uh, whether this profit has been realized or not. Number two, it's just one bet. So I'm placing 10, 15, 20 bets a day, depending on the given day. Um, so multiply this three dollars and forty-eight cents by 10, 15, 20 bets a day. Maybe you have a bigger bankroll than me, so it's even more money. And you start to understand just how profitable you can be. Obviously, you're not going to win every bet. And if you win, you get all the profit. If you lose, you lose all the risk. But uh, you'll, st you'll start to notice that if you're tracking it, your, your expected profit will start to equal your, your actual profit as time goes on. So you just want to see that number slowly go up and to the right, like a good stock. Um, so that's everything from the math perspective. Hopefully that all made sense. If not, you can definitely hit me up. Um, the next thing I like to look at is where all the markets have pricing for these plays. So uh, if you literally just click this, it pulls up where every sports book prices odds. As we can see, well, well, Matt, why do you think this is a good play? It looks like there's no other book that prices this except for Caesars and the Oz Jam line. Not so fast. Open up and you right click this view event page in a new tab. Pulls up where every sports book not only prices the individual play, so the 20 and a half, but also the entire market, so the total games market. And as we can see, the other two sports books that we have odds for price this at a number higher than what we got it at. Price this at 21 at minus 110 and price this at 21 and a half. So every other book prices this game total to be above the number we got it at, and we got it at minus 105. So not only does the odds jam line view this as the likely outcome. They think that the most likely scenario is that this goes over 20 and a half games. We only had to get it at minus 105. So pretty good value here. Again, it's a two unit play. I put a hundred bucks on it. I think it's awesome. And that's gonna be it. So that's going to be my official tennis play. Uh, the game between Alex Mulcan and Duhay Djukovic uh, over 20 and a half games on Caesar Sportsbook, put two units on it. And that's going to be it. So I appreciate you guys watching. Again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. And that's all I got for you. So thanks for watching and have a good one.